Right, okay. Uh, my name is Garrett Edwards. I'm responsible for J Events along with uh, two of my colleagues. Uh, you'll see us with our <coughs> J Events t shirts on. Um, we're starting 10 minutes late, so I'll try not to keep you too late into your lunch break. Uh, what I wanted to do today was to talk about um, how we can use Joomla beyond what you think you can use Joomla for, using J Events as an example of that. Uh, the reason for that is because um, um, I'm going to illustrate it using J Events. Um, because basically, I found people using JEvents, which is an event calendaring system, in ways that I would never have thought possible. So when I wrote it, I was thinking it was a calendar, an event system, but people have used it for things that have got nothing to do with events. So I thought it was a good example of how you can use JEvents, and therefore we might be able to think more broadly about how we can use Joomla in the same sort of way. So what I want to demonstrate is that um, Joomla and the JD add-ons are very much greater than just articles. We st I don't know how many were in Marco's presentation earlier about custom fields. Um, that sort of thing, you can basically extend Joomla far beyond, um, oh, sorry, let's try that again. Far beyond what uh, you'd expect. Um, then also, if you know some coding, you can then get into the Joomla platform, add a bit of customization, create your own plugins, create your own layouts and so forth, and all of a sudden, Joomla is no longer just a content management system. And you never know, we could end up building the next Facebook. In fact, I would suggest using something like Joomla is a really good platform for developing your ideas. If you want to build a new business idea, you know, why not use Joomla to do it? Uh, it might not be fine for the long-term you know, Facebook size implementation, but it certainly get you there to get you started. So, I don't know how many people are familiar with JEvents. Um, it's an online calendar for your website. Um, I'm going to give a quick introduction to that, a quick description of some of the add-ons that are available. Um, then describe some of the obvious implementations of JEvents, and then maybe some of the less obvious ones that uh, surprised us, and will probably surprise you as well, um, saying a little bit about how they were done. And hopefully, off the back of that, you will start thinking, well, imagine what we can do with Joomla if we can do all that with just an event calendaring system. Um, first of all, I've got to apologize. The, the system cuts off the left bit of the screen. I noticed that in an earlier presentation. So I hope there's nothing too important on the left. If there's, if there's something up there that is cut off and you need to see it, let me know. Oh, you can see it on the television screen behind. So if you want to go back and look at that, you can do. Right, uh, let's see if I can get a web browser up here. Um, Right, I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of what JEvents can do using the um, JEvents demo site. Uh, you can basically have a calendar showing all your events, details about them, you can click through on them. Do you know what we can see about Oh, that's not good. Right, okay. <laughs> It's a nice mountain, isn't it? <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Right. Yeah, chopping off the left is not good. Right, so what I was saying, um, on the JEvents demo site, uh, we have basically what you'd expect of... Oh, sorry, it's my left click. You have what you'd expect of a calendar system, so it shows the events on a calendar, um, you can click through to one of them. Um, gives you details about the event. In this case, it's got an image built in, some description of the event, where it's taking place, and so forth. And in our case here, some custom fields. Um, we have a mini calendar, which allows you to navigate to specific dates, a list of upcoming events, all of which can be customized. So basically, J Events allows you to create events for your uh, websites, you can use it for you know, uh, press releases, for events for your clubs and societies, all sorts of things um, which are very obvious. Uh, but it's the unexpected uses that I wanted to, um, to go through. Right, so that was a very quick introduction to J-Events. Um, out of the box, it's a free application on, um, for Joomla. You get multiple themes available, so you can choose how you want the sites to look. You get a pretty powerful layout editor that allows you to change, for example, the event detail page. You can have an event detail page which is different for all your different categories, all your different languages and so forth. So you get flexibility there and um, without having to do any template overrides or anything. There's a, a WYSIWYG editor for creating those. Different menu types, you can show 
calendars, lists of events, um, uh, columnized uh, with different events with different columns that display the dates that the events are taking place and so forth. And uh, an upcoming events module or a latest events module which you can choose what information to display, how it's arranged and so forth, again using uh, a formatting tool. And you can even customize the event editing, editing page. So you know, if some of the fields are not relevant to your site, you can choose which fields are displayed. So again, all of that uses um, a WYSIWYG editing system, so you don't need to use any uh, coding to be able to do that. We try to make JEVANTS extensible. Um, so uh, we add locations or venues. We can add people or resources. So people might be artists. They might be the company sponsoring the event. Um, it can be all sorts of things, but basically they are, they are sort of, um, we call them people or resources, but they can be basically anything, things like um, overhead projectors. You can associate overhead projectors with an event. So if you've got a limited number of overhead projectors, you can associate one with a particular event. Uh, we ha offer event registrations, invitations, reminders, you can pay for your events, uh, create customized tickets, charging structures and so forth. Uh, we can have standardized images. You can see here in the layout we've got a, a standard image and a, we've organized the presentation of the events to show the image <coughs> in the right place. Custom fields, a long, long list of custom field types that you can use. Um, choose where you want them to display have them conditional on categories, so some of the fields only work in some categories, some of them work in other categories, and so forth. Um, social media integration, we link into John Social, Easy Social, Community Builder, um, tie in via some other add-ons into uh, Facebook feeds, Twitter feeds, and so forth. Uh, ACY mailing, newsletters, J newsletter, and so forth. And also we allow you to link your events to Joomla articles um, and we link into some of the CCKs like K2 and EasyBlog. Um, so you basically, al it allows you to create um, an event system which is very heavily integrated in with the rest of your site. And so on. There are actually a long, long list of other, um, of other add-ons available. So, very quick description of some obvious implementations. I'm going to use the JEVENTS demo sites to start off with. Um, it's a fairly basic event calendar on that site. We use the layout editor. So, so this, this presentation here with the map, the details, the location, the description, the image, always in the same position. We use the layout editor to get that. We use event images, venues and locations, as I mentioned. So let's go back. Um, another one, which uh, is a conference site demonstration. And uh, you can see that one on um, beach.jeventsdemo.net. It's actually been used by a few Joomla days to organize their um, events in a few locations around the world. It allows you to create um, uh, timetables, uh, makes heavy use of the layout editor, custom style sheets and so forth to get the presentation in the right sort of way. Um, but basically, we, you can sell the tickets using our registration system, RSVP Pro. We have managed people, so in this case, you have the speaker. So I would be a speaker, so in this case, you know, like the design stream here has a speaker, Don uh, Pickerman. And you can click on that, it goes through to bio about the person, photos, give you all the different streams and the events that that person is speaking at. It would all be organized together. Uh, we use custom fields in that again, um, and then we have the personal planner. So if you're attending this, the two or three day event, and there are lots of things to choose from, and you're trying to work out which one to go to, you could click on a little icon in each of the events and say, I want to go to this, this, and this, and it would give you a list of all the events in your planner. So Does it do the event bookings? All the yes, well, the event bookings would be done by RSVP Pro. Oh, so you, you basically, you, you can buy your tickets, you can say how many people want to come, you can have early bird discounts, um, conditional pricing, all sorts of things <coughs> built into that. Um, this is a much more complex um, demonstration. What we did with this one, I don't know if anybody looks at the BBC events site. Um, they've got a fairly sophisticated event site. And what we wanted to do was to show how you could create something similar to that um, using J-Events uh, with just some of the, the club add-ons that we have. We use a slightly, um, the, events, the events slideshow at the top. Again, we use the personal planner, so if you're interested in certain events that are going on, um, you can add them to your planner. Uh, we use manage locations or venues to show where the events are taking place. 
people and resources. So in this case, we have people, the organizers of the events, the, um, the sponsor, or sort of like, uh, you know, it might be like, for this one might be run by the Scottish Mountain Walk. That might be run by the Cairngorm Mountain Walking Club or something. Then you can see all the events that that particular club is associated with. So it's, it's actually a very um, interesting demo. I found it very interesting to be able to do it because it showed using various components that came with J events how you could build a very sophisticated um, events and activities site. Uh, we use a matching event summary, so you can basically on on when you're looking at an event like the Scottish Mountain Walk, it can prompt you to show you all the other related events that you might be interested in attending as well. Uh, featured events are the events that you might mark as being important. So again, if you're running an event site, you know you, you might be paid for, for sponsoring some of your important events. So you'd have the featured events; they would appear at the top. Um, so I don't, I got no idea how much it would cost you to write such a system. I'm sure the BBC paid, well, considering more than ten thousand pounds to put their site together, uh, putting this sort of thing together with Joomla and J events, um, was a few days' work, understanding the add-ons available first, of course. But once you understood them, you could build it from the pieces, just like a, you could build a Lego model of something. You know, it's, it's very, very powerful, and certainly cost a lot less than 10,000 pounds. Sorry, clicking the wrong way. Right, now, here's some um, non-J events demo sites. These are some, um, some of our client sites. Uh, so BBT Live, this is a Philadelphia-based uh, organization. They, they're a, like a, I don't know what the right word is, but they basically pull together different bands, jazz bands, uh, rock bands, um, all sorts of musical organizations in the Philadelphia area that sell their services for events locally. So they have, um, they serve weddings, bar mitzvahs, birthday parties, um, proms, all sorts of things. And they basically use their site to manage the bookings, make sure they don't clash, uh, they don't book the same bands in, this, in different places, uh, present the showcases of the bands and so forth. So they use RSVP Pro for booking um, people into, booking the bands into events. Uh, the venues and custom fields again, uh, they, use, um, they use actually quite a few template overrides and the layout editor um, to create a very a different sort of presentation. But it's still, at its heart, an event system. Uh, this one's a company um, in America that does uh, metal widgets of some sort. I'm not sure exactly. I think they're laser cut 3D things that they create. And I got some very specialized equipment to run them. So they basically needed a system for their customers to find training sessions specifically for their types of users, uh, for their types of products. And they created a very, very um, sophisticated um, <coughs> representation of these events. Um, so they needed a customized search tool and a booking mechanism. So again, they used RSVP Pro, the our registration system. They used managed locations. So you know, this one's in Columbus, this one's in um, Louisville, this one's in Cincinnati. So basically, people can find their training sessions that meet certain criteria if they're close to where they are or um, if they, they're training for specific types of products or in specific time windows and so forth. They ended up using their own dynamic layouts um, uh, with some very sophisticated JavaScript and CSS. So this is not something you could get out of the box. Uh, so I'll give you the punchline there. Um, so those are all event systems, okay? So they're obviously things for doing um, events on a website. Uh, what I want to show you now is something completely different. Excuse me, did you say the RSVP Pro is part of Joe No, no, that's a commercial, it's a commercial add-on. It's a commercial, commercial add-on. Right, add so basically the venues, the managed people, the images, the registration, right. those are those are commercial add-ons for Joe Yes. Can I just ask about the, the search module? Is that part of Joe Events or is that something? The, the search, uh, which one is C, we should go to it one. Like the, the drop down from things? Yeah. Yeah, we have a filter module, which is part of J Events itself, that will work off the back off the bat with core fields that are built into JVents. Every time you add an add-on, like the custom fields add-on, the, the managed locations, each of those comes with its own set of filters and they're automatically made available in the filter module. So you basically can choose which filters you want to yeah. in your models. Maybe yeah. you're pointing out that you're able to develop a view like that now with the float layout? Yes, yes. In fact, actually, we got a new, we got a new presentation, a new layout of presentation of our um, events. Um, so I don't know if you've seen these sorts of layouts, but basically a grid, and as you 
size the thing in and out. They, they sort of dynamically move around, and as you filter, they dynamically change. Um, so that's a new theme that we've, um, we're releasing to our club members um, in the next, well, just until I, when I get time to finish off checking that the filtering works, that's going to be available um, imminently. So, something completely different. Um, my German's not quite good enough to be able to confidently pronounce the first word. I know it starts with test. Um, this, this has got absolutely nothing to do with events whatsoever. Um, what this guy has done is created a system for auctioning products that need to be reviewed. Um, and what he's done is he's used RSVP Pro to capture the request. So basically, he gets products in. Um, so in this case, you might get an Apple iPhone super slim case in from the manufacturer to say, we need a review for this product. And he then um, adds it to the list of RSVP Pro sessions. So these are it's supposed to be event bookings, but they're not. They're actually just a list of products that need to be reviewed. And then his customers come along and say, right, I'm interested in this one. And I'll, my previous track record, basically all the, all the events that they've attended in the past and the reviews that they've done, um, he knows about already because they've, they've, they've been using this system for a while. So he has the list of what people have done. And they then say, I'd like to book, I'd like to go for this product. I'd like to go for this product. And they can also put in how much they're willing to pay for that product. Then the organizer, once the, the closing deadline for the event has taken place, he gets the list of all the people who are interested in reviewing that product and looks at how much each one is willing to pay and also looks at the quality of their previous reviews and then chooses one of them and says, right, you can be the one that does that review. And um, basically, you know, when I first saw that, I was like, what on earth has that got to do with events? It's got absolutely nothing to do with events. But it shows that you can use a system for doing something completely unexpected to um, what you're um, planning. Uh, I'm not going to go through any more examples in a huge amount of details, but I'll uh, give you some... Sorry, give you a few examples of what else has been done. Um, there are actually quite a few um, voluntary fire services and ambulance services in America and um, Australia um, that use J events and some of the club add-ons for managing volunteer sign-ups. So they have shifts, um, so they need eight hour shifts covered over the future number of weeks. And they've got a pool of volunteers. The, the volunteers look at the websites and they say, right, these, these, these slots I can do. And they basically volunteer themselves to, to, to provide fire service um, cover for those, those slots. Uh, we've got a company in America that manages oil field maintenance. And they've got a few contractors who work for them. And they basically describe their contracts, where they're taking place, when, they're take, when they need to be done by. And they get their contractors to say, right, I, I'm interested in doing that piece of work. And <coughs> so sign up somebody to do, do a piece of oil field maintenance contract. Again, not really anything to do with events. We've got football leagues. This maybe is a bit more like um, events, but football leagues managing fixtures um, for their uh, football leagues. And they link into other add-ons like uh, Joom Sports for their um, league tables and the results system. People have used it for wedding guest, wedding guest management. So you know you can use the 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 RSVP Pro, the event registration system. Send out the invitations by emails. And in fact, one person who's done it is sitting in the room. Um, you can see who's looked at the looked at the invites. Um, send out rem uh, reminders to them. You could, you know, obviously people are not responding. You can then phone them up or send them snail mail to to make sure that they actually have seen the invitation. Um, you know, so basically with a with a, with a wedding list, you can do all sorts of things um, with the custom fields and so forth. Uh, you can ask people, you know, what dietary requirements you have when they're booking in for the um, reception and so forth. So, what else is possible? Um, some of these are actual, some of the ones I've cooked up myself. Obviously, we talked about staff rostering type um, uh, situations. Uh, you can do vacation planning. Um, so, some organizations have used this for working out who's going to be on holiday when. You get a list of people. Uh, different types of people might be classed in different categories, so you use colors to represent different categories of um, people on your website, and you can see at a quick glance on the calendar, oh, we've got a lot of red people planning vacation there, so the next person who's red in that particular category can't have a vacation then because we're not going to have enough staff. 
Uh, job tendering, we've seen, we've touched on it, but you know, th there's no reason why you couldn't use this sort of system for auctioning, creating an, uh, an online auction system as well. Uh, there's a very interesting uh, organization that's used this for project management as well. Um, they're an event management company, but it doesn't have to be for events. They basically have all their suppliers, all their contractors classed as different types of managed people in the system. So they have, it's, it's an outdoor pursuits center in this particular place. So they have people who know about rock climbing, they have people who know about um, canoeing and kayaking, they have other people that are cat catering companies. So all these different classes of suppliers and contractors uh, grouped together, they captured separate information about each of them. And then when they're organizing the events, they say, right, we're gonna need two people that know about high ropes courses, we need three people that know about kayaking, we need a um, uh, contract uh, catering company. Um, they can then look at the list of available people that satisfy the criteria, filter them, choose the ones they want, then track the status of the contact that they have with them. So they can send them messages, they can see um, where the event has got to, you know, has it got to the printing the, the publicity material about the event and so forth. So again, using the add-ons that we have, they've basically been able to use this to, to do a basic project management system without having to go outside of Joomla. Uh, the same sort of thing could be done with construction. You know, imagine you're a small builder. You could have um, your plumber, your electrician, and so forth. You need dates that they're supposed to come in for, um, ones that are qualified for certain types of work and so forth. So it allows you to associate them with an event but it's not really an event, it's just a deadline for a particular piece of work to be done. So, that's a bit about what J-Events has done, um, or what people have done with J-Events, I mean, they were around. Uh, so I've, I often wondered what you could do with Joomla and the add-ons if you uh, take it a bit further. And my contention is that Joomla, with the add-ons from the extension directory, uh, gives you something that's very much greater than just articles. I don't, have people used um, CCKs or social add-ons for sites at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, those are, you know, the obvious places to start. Um, does any, has anybody written their own plugins or template overrides at all? Yeah. Um, basically, my my view is that if you wanted to build something like Facebook, you know, let's let's say it's a social-based website. Um, and let's say it's a, a, a cooking so society, or you've got people who are interested in cooking, and you think this is going to be a great new social enterprise. Well, you know, how you, you've got the social media, the social uh, community aspect already built in with John Social Community Builder, Easy Social. You could choose one of those, and then you could start layering in extra functionality that you want that's specific to your particular audience. So if you think you're going to build a new mega um, social uh, society that's all about um, cooking, then you can add add-ons and applications that are specific to that specific interest, that specific user interest group that doesn't uh, tie you into having to use something like Facebook and the difficulties of writing an application for Facebook. So what else could we do if we think, uh, think Blue Sky? Um, yeah, I guess you could use Joomla for, uh, and CCKs to manage stocks and suppliers for organizations. So let's say you're a manufacturing company. Um, you've got a, you use Joomla for your sales website. You know, this is not, I'm not talking about a huge company, I'm talking about a small manufacturer. Uh, in fact, I've done this for somebody in the past. They were a um, company that was selling um, customized uh, furniture for conservatories. And they had different types of fabric, they had different types of base and cushions and things. And all the different bits came from different suppliers. So they had a sales website which was um, capturing views coming in at the beginning, fed that through to a uh, CRM, a customer relationship management within Joomla. Um, so that the, because the, the website where they see the system, so where the customer sees the product is on Joomla, ties in with the CRM which is then on Joomla. Um, the sale of the product is then on Joomla via something like Hika Shop or Virtue Mart or something like that. They can then manage their stocks and their suppliers and work out what the lead time of everything is. You suddenly get, using Joomla, with a few add-ons and a bit of custom coding, you get a very, very powerful system for basically managing a small manufacturing and sales business. 
which is not really what Jim was designed for, but why not? Uh, yeah, I've touched on um, community websites that go beyond <coughs> what Facebook can do, adding custom functionality. And um, the basic idea is that it's easy to add functionality to Joomla. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's wherever your imagination takes you. Uh, you could build recruitment websites, job seeker websites um, quite easily, uh, dating websites. Uh, basically, with, with the extensions directory, a bit of coding, a bit of creative thinking, um, I think that's really the key to it all. You basically need to stop thinking about Joomla as just a content management system, if you think about it as a platform for building your business or building somebody else's business, you can create something, something much bigger. So, um, that was uh, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, so I hope it wasn't, uh, <laughs> it wasn't too rushed. Um, so, if anybody's got any questions, I want you to demonstrate anything or describe something in more detail, happy to do so. Yeah. How um, would J events work, for instance, um, with a membership subscription? So, say you, you've you got um, a networking group where yeah. you're paid to be a member and you want to have an event booking and create a social network for them within that site. Right. Um, how would that link with J events? Right, well there's, there's lots of ways of doing that. Um, they're, they're in Joomla already, there are lots of um, subscription, sort of user yes. subscription add-ons, you know, like, um, Akiba subscriptions as well, that's what we use on our site, several of them. A lot of them work by changing the user group that somebody who's become a member of the site is in. Yeah. Um, again, you could change their user group using John Social or CB subs or something. So basically what you do in that situation is you go to the extensions directory and you say, right, I need a member subscription system. Mm -hmm. And that one looked good and it works well with Joomla. Slot that into the website. Right, now you've got something that captures their membership. I want a bit of social networking. Uh, oh, I like John Social. Slot that in as well. That ties in with the user groups as well. Um, now you've got a website that has subscriptions, a um, bit of social, uh, social interaction, and now uh, you want to have events. You want member-only events. You want events where the pricing is dependent, yeah. different for different types of members. Yeah, that's no problem at all. With, with our registration system, you can basically have events that are only, only visible to certain groups, only that can only be registered by certain user groups where the pricing is different for certain user groups. Um, that's all built in. We tie that back then into the social interactions. So you, can see, you can see on their job social profile which events people have, have attended or which ones they've created and so forth. So you, you, you get the linkage. I just if there was a way of not having all the different bits that, that, that you could create G-events and adapt it to do more right. rather than having to have yeah, you could, lots you could. more. Yeah. At the moment I'm building a, a networking group, for instance, that's why it's come to mind. And I just feel like I'm adding so many So many other things. different bits, right. Okay, what we can do with, um, with RSVP Pro, our registration system, is that you can have attendance at some events conditional on having attended another event. So that primary event could then be your user subscription. Yes. Okay, and you can have that happening once a year or something. So they have to pay to, jo to join, to join yeah. which is that trigger event. Then the other events are only accessible to people who <coughs> that first event. Um, there's, there's no reason why we couldn't add a feature into, into a plugin that would change their user group when they attended the events. It's at the moment out of the box, I don't, I don't so know if you do that. Yeah, you could turn them into a subscribed user. Yeah, a subscribed user, user and then user. maybe they can get access to different aspects of the website. At the moment we don't have that, but it would actually be really, really easy to do that. that would be so then you don't need a keeper, you then don't need Exactly. Yeah, you just have the one, one set of tools. But you would still have to add in something like easy social or job social for the for the, the, the conversation side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there any way to integrate your uh, J events with Google Calendar or Exchange Calendar? Yes. You can, well, you can pick out. You can basically feed in from Google Calendar um, events into the J events Calendar, and you can export from J events into Google Calendar, and they basically do it manually or no, because no. Well, you, you, you start off, it's, there, there are two different ways of, of integrating a, a web calendar with something on like Google or Exchange. 
Um, the way we do it at the moment is using an iCal export and import. And as long as that's use, using a URL, um, you can set up a cron job and it basically updates automatically once an hour or so, so that the two are completely in sync. So basically, I can create an event in the uh, calendar, and yeah. how will I say that this particular event should go into this category and things like that? Uh, well, in, uh, Google's not very good with categories. That's no. the problem with Google, with Google, so you can't specify which categories. No. Um, but if you had another, I don't know if Exchange, Microsoft Exchange Calendar has categories, that but if your categories good. were specified in your event, yes, then as long as it's following the iCal specification, JEvents would pick that up as a category and it would appear in the right category in JEvents. Yeah. Can it use uh, JEvents for a reservation system? For event registration, event reservation system. For events, to attend an event. Not events like uh, apartments or something like that. Um, yes, yes, yeah. yes. You can do, of course you can. Yes, yes. To know yes. If an apartment yeah, you basically what you do. So, say you're running a set. Say you have a set of um, holiday ho holiday yeah. homes in a little complex, and you've got five different ones. You can have a page that describes each of them. You'd have to set up. At the moment, you'd have to set up the events in advance. So you'd have to book Saturday to Saturday. Saturday to Saturday, you have to set them up as events, yes. set the pricing for each of those, and then people come in and say, right, I'm interested in this particular week for this holiday home, book that, then that, then that becomes unavailable for other people to yeah. book it. Um, it's not yet a booking system, as in, as in the ability to say, I want it for three nights, or I want it for five nights. Mm. It would have to be in predetermined blocks of one week at a time. Okay. So it time, or it's three right. days at a time, whatever. <coughs> uh, yeah, um, I've been asked at the moment to look at finding a system for assigning sort of tasks and work for up to 200 people yeah. um, on any one day of the week. Right. So it's essentially it's uh, staff management. So in the morning they can find where they've got to be, what yeah. they've got to do. Yeah. Is that something that the system could cope with or yes, yes. be developed yeah. for? Yeah. You could, you could use the managed people add-on for that one. Um, basically, you know, say you've got 200 members of staff, set them up as, presumably they're different types of staff. That, that yeah, do different. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's basically, basically a cleaning firm. A cleaning firm, yeah. So some people qualify to use certain equipment and others are not or whatever. You basically, ha you'd have them set, you could have them set up as a Joomla user if you wanted. Probably best to do so, because then when they log in, they would get a personalized presentation. Um, and you could basically, set them up as managed people with all their different types so that the person could be linked to the different type, associate them with an event, and um, yeah, they then see what their schedule is going to be, and you can make sure that people have got, you've got your staff covered for all the different jobs you've got coming up. Yeah, put them in the separate user groups. Yeah, yeah. So it's a question, it's a question at the back there, yeah. Sorry, this isn't specific to Joe events, um, although I have used it before and, yeah. and it's worked well. Um, you've intimated that there are scalability issues with Joomla, particularly in context of networking, social networking sites. Uh, no, no, no. All it was was thinking if you're going to build something as big as Facebook, which is going to have billions of users, you know, you might you might want to have some code that's optimized specifically for that purpose. I'm not I'm not saying there's any scalability issues. You know, it's it's much more than just a prototyping system. Um, you know, we've had people. With our events registration system, a uh, uh, running race in happens in Kentucky every year. We've got twelve and a half thousand attendees. <coughs> had, you know, they had no issues about booking that many people into the system. Um, we had a, a Saudi business conference where they had a multilingual Arabic English um, site with two and a half thousand attendees, all of which, which was linked into Jump Social, which linked into um, their their own payment gateway. There's no issues at all with that. With Scanning the QR codes and printing off tickets. It's you know it's just when you're getting into the millions or billions of users, you might then hopefully have enough money to pay for somebody to optimize it. You know you might well still you might choose to still use Joomla as the platform for that, but you might say instead of using these four different bits that all add a little bit of drag to the system, you might then create something customized for that. But that's probably because you then have the money to be able to do it. I'm not saying there's any scalability issues now. Okay. Do you yeah. offer customization? Uh, yes, we do. Well, to you and said, can you help me do this? Yes, well, my, my colleagues are both uh, in, the, in the team. We can do that. Yeah, it's, um, you know, we'll give you a quote for how much it would cost. Yeah. Um, when a user registers for an event or something, is yeah. it, it might be already there, but is it possible to manually approve it for every 
Yes, yes, yes. You can basically say that attendance for a particular particular event yeah. um, is conditional on being approved. Yeah. If you work with particular template providers, or is it just? No, it, it should work out of the box with most most Joomla's. Some some templates that use Bootstrap three, um, you know, we not, might need to do a little bit of customized CSS because Joomla uses Bootstrap two, and you know, we use a few Bootstrap two functions, so you might need a little bit of custom CSS just to fix a few glitches, but most templates should work. If you're happy to offer support on one. Yeah, we like to pr we pride ourselves on the quality of our, our support. We try to be res responsive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As well as the templates, it shrinks and it grows. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So was there a question over there? Yeah? I know you asked to add a bit to your presentation. You'd like to add something, yes? I told you I was sending the screenshot and I didn't do so. Yeah. I, I built a couple of years ago. Uh, We're not picking him up. Uh, oh, Carlos, trying to come down the front. Okay. Oh. <coughs> yes, my preparing this presentation was done at a bit of a rush because my um, just partner has just had a baby ten, 10 days ago. Uh, wasn't supposed to come for another couple of weeks, so we uh, not had enough, enough sleep, so um, I haven't been able to follow up on all Carlos's <coughs> ideas. So, um, Carlos, yeah. No, just to follow a bit about Joomla uh, out of the box. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, my brother-in-law uh, started a, a new clinic there in Spain, and they had no money at all. So and they needed a reservation system for the uh, medical appointments. Okay, just to track who where who is attending which patient. Who, you know, so. Uh, they asked me about a solution for that, and I set up a Joomla site. It was in an internet, so it was nothing uh, that was going to uh, outside, and people was not able to book uh, directly on the, on the site. But it was like a, a little program, like a, a minimum website with J events, uh, resource manager, and they were able to manage all the bookings and all the appointments for the people just with that, and it was very, very few, few uh, amount of money for them, and it was very nice. Um, I mean, it worked for them like two years, and they decided to change uh, a year ago, but it was working fine till then. And, uh, it was like <coughs> offering them a way to see where where their appointments, to see the, the patient name and that stuff, and also, I made it an integration with a, a network a storage system, so they could even click on on a link and get the the patient uh, document with all the storage clinic and the stuff. So it was a very nice implementation of Eula out of the box, and yeah, I used JVans because it was nice for seeing the calendar and that stuff. And um, yes, you can do lots of things out of the box. You just need some imagination. Imagination. That's mm -hmm. the key thing. To it. Imagination. Okay. Thanks. Um, just one last thought, Colin. <laughs> Carlos so is mentioning that. Yeah. Just one last thought. Um, another idea I had was about um, companies that, uh, things like garages that do MOTs or people that do boiler servicing. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't create them a service which brings up reminders that people's cars need to be MOT'd, or that they're, you know, just send out the reminders, get them booked in, you know, just thinking out of the box, there's all sorts of things you can do. So. You could use it for organizing your own website. Yes, you, you yeah, your own client management. As a tool for managing your own extension updates, time to do this, time to do Exactly, yeah, 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 why not? It would actually be useful for using like a booking system, like you just said, for vehicles and insurances because there's due diligence and director's yep. responsibility. So yep. it's a nice add on to sell to clients. Yeah, no, they exactly. Have to do it. Yeah, and it can be private, you know, if, if it's internal stuff. So, like this, the event management system that the Outdoor Pursuits plays, the this particular calendar was nothing to do with the, the outside world. They, they didn't see these events until they were completely, they'd gone through all the planning process. They were then only published at the very last step. but. It had been in the calendar all that time. But again, there's no reason why you couldn't have private calendars that say, right, you know, we need to book directors' meetings by this date, you know, we need to send the 
Um, data commissioner's uh, registration is due by this date. You know, those sorts of things are all doable. Yeah. Any other questions? Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.